So our next session, and we're getting close to our final one, is on Save the Rivers Replace Single-Use Plastics Program. Robin Lucas, who I think a lot of you know, is a board member at Save the River. She's a third-generation river rat, originally from Goodell Island. Her husband, David, and three adult children now live seasonally on Bluff Island. Prior to Robin's corporate career in sales and management within the animal health industry, she spent every summer working in almost every establishment in Clayton to cover college expenses in the 1980s. Robin is living her dream of spending her summer now selling real estate in the Thousand Islands for Sotheby's. She volunteers as a captain at the Antique Boat Museum as a trustee of Grinnell Island Chapel. Let's see, Robin and David are active participants and members of, of TILT, Clayton Opera House, Thousand Islands Art Center, Save the River, and Friends of the Antique Boat Museum. Robin. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. I, I don't know about you, but Dr. Mason's talk really got me fired up. And um, I've had a lot of aha moments throughout this whole plastic initiative. And one thing that I remember from corporate America is we used to say, if it's meant to be, it's up to me. So I think that we all can agree that we do have a part in the solution. So what I'm going to do is um, share with you um, a little bit about where we are now with Save the River. So as you heard from Dr. Mason, microplastics and nanoplastics entering the food stream of fish, birds, humans is a serious problem facing the world and those of us living on the river. As a result of concerns over this problem, Save the River formed its sustainability committee last summer. It's chaired by Lauren Troop. Initial members of the committee were Ann Ward, myself, and Margaret Hummel, as well as Kendall Hathaway and John Peach. The committee was charged with developing a plan to replace single-use plastics in the riverfront communities on both sides of the river. As the committee began our work, we were approached by four members of a Clayton-based sustainability initiative. <clears throat> Rich Rossmassler, Julia Purcell, Liz Price Kellogg, and Monica Bean, who shared our common goals of removing plastics from the river environment. They readily agreed to join Save the River Sustainability Committee, doubling our people power right away. The mission of the Sustainability Committee is to educate our riverfront communities throughout its Replace Single-Use Plastics campaign to become more aware of our consumption of single-use plastics, such as bags, straws, plastic eating utensils, styrofoam food containers, etc. I'm sure you could name a few that you've thought of today. And to encourage all of us to reduce our usage of these plastics. Single-use plastics are contaminating the St. Lawrence River and its tributaries. Over time, these plastics break down into microplastics, which have been shown to adversely affect the health of humans and the wildlife that call the river their home. They also create a huge amount of non-biodegradable waste for our landfills and litter our streams, wetlands, and roadsides. Save the River intends to increase the awareness of the harmful effects of single-use plastics, thus decreasing the usage of these items through education and visibility. So our campaign um, of our committee, we have goals, and um, we have six bolded goals here, and you can see them up on the screen. Replace single-use plastics such as bags, straws, plastic eating utensils, styrofoam food containers in our riverfront communities while seeking environmentally friendly and reusable alternatives. We're not saying to completely eliminate them where we are looking to actually replace them and to look at reusable alternatives. Create Save the River displays to be placed in local stores to encourage the use of reusable bags. Provide food pantry and our EBT card holders Save the River reusable plastic bags. Sell Save the River reusable bags in our storefront and our other local businesses where permissible. Encourage businesses to sell heavier reusable plastic bags or paper bags for people who do not have their own bags and inform government officials starting at the local levels 
of Save the River's mission to remove single-use plastics from the river long-term, push for a Jefferson County and New York State-wide ban on single-use plastics. And as we were developing a mission, committee's mission and goals, we went out into the communities and we talked with politicians and merchants to get their feedback on our Replace Single-Use Plastics program. The comments were very positive, with some reservations that we had to be sensitive to the economic considerations of a changeover from single-use plastic bags to reusable bags. Ben's Bird Bags, which you'll see at the end if you haven't seen them already, we've developed a, a bag and we also have these displays which have developed um, for use in the community. We have bumper stickers, small posters, and large size if needed. And so the story of the display development with these reusable grocery totes, we have a current design that we're selling in our storefront for $1.40 each. Save the River has donated 50 bags to each of the Alexandria, Clayton, and Cape Vincent food pantries. Our plan between now and the start of the summer season is to get as many of the displays and the bags, if merchants are interested, into the stores in the three U.S. riverfront communities. We thought starting local and starting where we could impact a, a smaller audience first rather than taking on the world, not that the other communities aren't important, but we felt we had good infiltration with Cape Vincent, Clayton, and Alexandria Bay to get our initiative started. And working with the Thousand Island Association on the Canadian side of the river, our hope is to get as much exposure as possible. Plus, you'll hear in a few minutes about All in the Same Boat, a sustainable website that has been developed by our colleagues to attach to local nonprofit websites to direct interested people to places to find green products. We have a big, we have a bag for each of you, and our attendees um, who weren't able to be here are welcome as well which are with our Save the River staff will hand you on your way out from the conference this afternoon. And we would ask that each of you take a minute to sign the petitions and the letters at your table asking Government Cuomo to pass legislation banning single-use plastic bags as well as the pledge to reduce your personal and household use of single-use plastics. And just to remind you, I mean, as we're all pretty fired up, maybe after um, Dr. Mason's talk, and, and I'm sure you've been reading a lot in the Watertown Times, and if you follow Save the River and, and other public announcements, you know, this is not going to be a sprint. It's going to be a marathon. So we have to start somewhere. Um, I used to say in my house, whoever could have invented the, the organization of our plastic containers and lids in our home should get the Pulitzer Prize because I'm always digging underneath the cabinet for lids. But um, I did get rid of all mine. That was a, a major initiative um, just to get rid of the plastic containers. But I think you got to start somewhere um, and there's going to be a lot of great things to come. So at this time I'd like to introduce um, Monica Bean, Liz Price Kellogg, who are going to come up and talk to you more about what's next. So thank you very much. John, I need your mic. So this goes to our live stream feed, and you guys can each have a mic if you'd like. So okay. this goes to yours. We're okay. We just need one. Yeah, we just one. Okay. There you go. Good evening at this point, everybody. Just to relieve a little anxiety, we're only going to speak for one minute. <laughs> it's been a long, fired up conference here. Um, we are with uh, our, our organization. It's not an organization, it is a movement, and it's all in the same boat. It was started by Liz Price Kellogg, myself, Julia Purcell, and Rich Ross Massler. We have created a movement uh, to open up the conversation, to open up a forum for business owners and for our community to talk about solutions to shutting off the faucet. Uh, it is time and it's taken us a long time. We've, we've become hooked on plastics. So it's going to take a long time for us to have solution and to get off of plastics. But it's step by step. So we are inviting people to have the conversation so that we can have a sustainable community here in Clayton uh, along the St. Lawrence River and inspire other communities 
uh, Alex Bay, uh, and, and so on, going up into Canada, because as we can see from Dr. Mason, what happens in Lake Superior moves on, what happens here on the St. Lawrence River moves on and affects the rest of the world. So we are thinking globally and acting locally, and we are not about shaming anyone. We're about sharing information and inspiring so that we can be proud of the, uh, the place that we call home. Is Like she said. <laughs> Yeah, so this is just the latest. You need to bring your own glass if you want a glass of wine or a mug or a mason jar. Um, please join us. It's just to open up some conversation. We have a short previewing of a, a film, and then we'll be talking about the website. And we really just want to create some inspiration, um, some sharing. So let's move on from there. Come join us. Opera House, third floor, right across the street. Sure. It's just across the street. And hopefully, Dr. Mason Where? may be able to answer some more questions for all of us while we're just having some one on one conversation. Thank you, everybody. Did you have, is it going to be like more formal? Or is it it's informal. It's Completely informal. Like, <laughs> you can dress down. Well, that uh, brings the conference to a close. The uh, cash bar will be open in just a minute. And then we've all been invited over to the Opera House to join all in the same boat and see more about their website that they've developed that hopefully is going to tie into a lot of our nonprofits along the river. Just a couple of announcements on the way out. We do have our plastic bags, which are made of recycled material, plastic uh, grocery totes for everybody who's here. I would urge you all to become a member if you aren't already a member. And thank you very much for coming. <laughs>